Hi, I'm Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and this is a training video in a series of videos about how to set up a computer with Windows XP. This installment is number 13 in the series and we're going to be looking at installing drivers, specifically a wireless network card driver. And I want to show you the kind of complications that you can run into here. Um, first of all, you may not know this, but uh, especially for the beginning user, you can turn your computer over and find underneath it, um, it'll say service tag number. And I'm going to try to focus in on this. Um, and in this case, it looks like it's 8Q56W41. We're going to try that. Um, here, I'm going to go to the Dell website and click on support. And when you go to their support page, the first thing you'll want to um, choose is what type of customer you are. Sometimes they'll have a page come up and say, are you business, are you home user? Um, it looks like today they've changed their website around. So uh, you just never know what to expect. But you're looking for this drivers and downloads option. So I'm going to click on the get it here. It says, welcome to public sector support. I I don't know why it's taking me there. Maybe there's some cookie from a previous uh, lookup that I did on their site. But anyway, and what you want to do then is choose drivers and downloads, however you can find that on the Dell site, and provide that service tag number, which it looks like, yeah, it's remembering that for me from before. Here's what I want to show you. Um, we've put in Windows XP, category, all drivers. I'm going to scroll down the page and you will see that there are drivers in these categories um, applications, audio, BIOS, chipset I'll scroll down. I've downloaded all of these communications, diagnostics, mouse and keyboard, network and system utilities and video. Specifically under network I want to point this out that there are some uh, you can see here some optional downloads. Um, some of these are drivers. Some, though, are just HTML files or application uh, like a diagnostics or something. Anyway, but what we're not seeing is the wireless card driver. And this computer has a wireless card in it, but the Dell website doesn't have the driver. So that creates a bit of a problem. Now the only way I was able to work around this was to find a another, you know, Dell Latitude D600 and get the wireless card driver from that um, that was apparently then installed from the Dell Resource CD. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that process and, and also explain that it sometimes fails. And now we're going to talk about how to get around it. So in this case, I was lucky enough, as I said, to find a Dell a Latitude D600. I don't even know if this is going to work. I'm, I'm doing the video in real time, unscripted, um, and so you're experiencing this as I am. There is something called a Dell Resource CD, and I want to mention that because if you have that, it can identify more accurately and more comprehensively the hardware that's installed in your Dell computer. Okay, I don't have that for this notebook, so I'm having to go search around for drivers. It's time consuming. Um, you'll see I saved this file in the folder uh, Documents and Settings, Maintenance as the Username, My Documents, Computer Support Driver Wireless. So I like to have a system of storing things. Here is the document that's the specifications for this card that I think is installed in this computer. Um, this was a popular card, the 2100 LAN Pro Wireless, uh, to be installed in this model of Dell Notebook. So I'm guessing that this is the wireless card that's installed, even though Dell's website says that this notebook does not have that wireless card. So I'm going to double click on the driver, and I'll say go ahead and run. And if you followed my previous video, on this in the previous video in the series, you'll notice that I have a folder on the C drive called drivers, and then I like to put in something descriptive like wireless, um, so later I can go back and easily identify if I need to. 
uh, that driver, which is actually how I got this from another computer, was that I had that directory named wireless, so I knew this was what I needed for this notebook. And with any luck, um, I'll close that out, with any luck when this process completes, then I will have the wireless driver installed for this. If I've guessed incorrectly, and if there's a different kind of wireless network card in this computer, I'll get an error at some point along the way saying that the supported hardware wasn't found. Then I'll have to keep searching. There's a removable plate on the bottom of this notebook computer. It's, oh, I guess, a couple of inches wide, maybe by two or two and a half inches. Um, and underneath that removable plate, I believe it has the letter C on it, one would find the wireless card. So if I wanted to, I could open up that plate and check out the model. But this was the only driver that I had readily available anyway. So I thought I'd start first with what driver I had easily accessible and then just kind of hope it would work. The installation's proceeding and I'm not getting any errors yet. So that I'm hoping is a good sign. It could just be that the files are expanding right now. But um, we'll see. I'll go ahead and pause the video and then come back when we're at uh, the next step. Well, I wanted to show you the conclusion of that installation for the wireless card, um, but unfortunately there was no message at the conclusion of the installation, at the completion of the installation. Normally it would say, you know, drivers are installed, but here again is another kind of uh, quirkiness aspect to windows and drivers and things it just the only thing that's changed now is down here I have the Intel Pro set and I can double click on that and when I do then you'll see that Intel has its own software for um, working with the, the driver and the, the card so in this case though as I indicated previously might be the the fact is that no devices are listed here. No hardware is listed as being installed in this computer. So I have the Intel ProSet software installed but still the wireless card not showing. So I'm going to open up the wireless card panel on this notebook to find out what kind of wireless card it has. Before I open up the computer and take out the wireless card I'm just going to go ahead and remove that Intel software. It's kind of a bummer that uh, that was not the correct card. It may be that there is a Dell wireless card that came with this computer or maybe something, uh, you know, a third-party card was installed after the fact. So anyway, here I'm going to go to Add Remove Programs, find the Intel ProSet software, choose uh, Remove, and go ahead and walk through that process. And once this is completed, then I'll go ahead and shut down the computer and open up that panel that I described to see what kind of network card, what kind of wireless network card is installed in this notebook. And I'll show you that process here in uh, just a few seconds. Well, interestingly, after that Intel ProSet software was removed, there was no message indicating that it had been removed. So, I don't know, it's kind of a poor practice on Intel's part to not have some sort of confirmation during the, the install and removal of that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the computer here and then uh, show you how I remove that panel and take a look at the network card.